how are you spending your Friday nights? Toasting your own marshmallows? Fire pit need rekindling? Come on, join us every Friday night at the fire pit where our conversation really heats up. And you're watching Fire Pit Friday. hippest, hottest place awesome. in, in Nashville, Tennessee, in the Gulch, which is called the Icon. And the Icon um, is, is a home for the Untitled Group's artwork coming up this Friday. And we're going to take you, all the Fire Pit audience, on a wonderful tour of artwork that's uncensored. And sitting with us here uh, is a group of artists. They are um, very eclectic, very interesting artists that are going to be displaying their artwork. Mm -hmm. So let's get to know the artists a little bit better right now. All right, your name please? Michael Brown. Casey Lane. David Goodman. Robert Cortner. Most of my work is Photoshop and then I use um, a program called Painter. So it's a combination of, of those two. I'm mainly a photographer. I just do my, my art on a computer as well. Just daily, basically just changing the color and lighting the tones. Beautiful, beautiful. I mostly do painting, a lot of black and white painting. Um, this particular piece that I put in is an assemblage. It's all recycled bits and pieces. I found uh, a bunch of driftwood on the beach, so, and that piece is called Dead Harvest. I pretty much do metal sculpting, uh, all different types of metal. I just like to I do wall pieces, floor pieces, anything that I can do. Just have fun with it. Colors, lighting. The piece I have actually has some backlighting just to bring out some more depth and some contrast. So I'm having fun with it. So this art show isn't just paintings. Mm -hmm. I think when people it's think about everything. art shows, they think, oh, it's just a bunch of paintings. Mm -hmm. But it's really a collection of all kinds of work. Oh, and the Untitled group is super eclectic with um, people and your artwork. What's it like? Anybody want to talk about being uh, belonging to the Untitled group? You've been involved, Casey, for uh, under two weeks. Okay, so how has that been? Have you met a bunch of cool people? This is my first time. So ever? you're brand new at this. I'm yeah. brand new. All right. I'm oh wow. Meeting. You can totally walk right into Untitled and say, hey, I'm a Nashville artist, and sign up, so what, that's it's very really cool. cool. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of people can't get representation. I think probably the best part of Untitled is the fact that you get to network with so many people. I've mm -hmm. gotten into all kinds of shows because of people that I've met at Untitled and mm -hmm. traded cards with or mm -hmm. whatever. You know, this artist, I like his work, he's got his stuff over here, and so-and-so is a gallery director, so I go over to her gallery, you know. Yeah. Um, Pieces do sell, and there are. I have run into people at the shows that actually come to and have been coming to Untitled shows just to go find artwork from people before they actually become famous. Which, so, how did you get involved with Untitled? How did I get involved? Mm -hmm. I uh, found it online, and uh, I was looking for a place to get exposure. I'm from California originally, and getting in, getting into anything in California is extremely hard. It's like you were saying, yeah. the portfolio, all your I's dotted, T's crossed. And it's one piece yeah. tonight, like one, one piece on piece. Friday, correct? Everybody? That's right. it, just sure. one piece per artist. See, that's yeah. great. And then and they have shows every month, just about, or every couple it's, of uh, months. It's four times a year, usually four times. And how many artists ordinarily participate? 
Uh, anywhere from a, a very low turnout would be 60 or 70. A good turnout is 125. Uh, that's, that's actually the limit they put on this show, but they're going to see if they can cram a few more people in because there was so much interest. Well, the buzz is out there, and it's growing, and of course, you know, we're, everybody's doing their part to help and get the word out there, but I think this Untitled group is going to be quite a phenomenon yeah. going on. Yes. Yeah, this is our 18-year birthday, which is why they titled it Barely Legal, because it just turned oh, adult, okay. so Aww. just grew up. Happy birthday! <laughs> it just turned adult. <laughs> yeah, no longer a minor. Why do you do your art? Just to, out of curiosity, this is something um, you're born with, you, you're, it's inside of you, but anybody have some great stories about why they like being an artist? I drew on my parents' coasters. Nice. I used to get in trouble because like, they would see the pin marks on all the stuff and they're like, what are you doing? You even draw on yourself. <laughs> well, I have somebody else do it. I'm not quite that good. But, but I, would, I would draw on trash cans, whatever, just to have fun, just to kind of do stuff and doodle. And that's all I ever did. And then when I started working with metal, it just seemed like a natural fit. Mm -hmm. and, and I took people, I, I, I found what they liked, and I tried to make something that represented them. And so they had something that was very intimate to them. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love doing when I, when I make art, is just connecting with people that I do it for. How cool is it to be here in this really artistic environment with a bunch of, I mean, this is why artists should be appreciated. I mean, beautiful, beautiful architecture and beautiful Fantastic. surroundings needs to come through mm -hmm. with beautiful artists like yourself. So this, so this is awesome. Building is like a frame around your work. Exactly, it's like really a nice. home. So that's yeah. really great. Well, whether you're a photographer, an illustrator, graphic designer, I mean, this is your home. Untitled, there is a home for all artists and it's at Untitled, so do not miss this show and do not miss this chance if you're an artist to belong to, uh, this is your family, this is your home. Mm -hmm. So you might as well just come on over and sit by the fire and chill. <laughs> That's right. Barely legal. Yeah. Thanks everybody. Thank you. Okay, in order to put on a show like this, you need a lot of hard work and a lot of people who can organize this hard work. And let's go find out exactly what it takes to put on the Untitled Group Show. Come here, come here, come on. This woman is the person to talk to, Miss Lollipop. Hi, how are you? Great. All right, you're on Fire Pit Friday right now, and we're coming back on Friday to cover your show, The Untitled Group. Tell us, what does it take? In tons and tons of paperwork in order to put this show on. It takes a lot of work and it takes a lot of people. And uh, Untitled is full of great artists that do a lot of work. So it's a lot of information. What got you involved in this in the first place? Well, I started... Um, I started Dr. Sketchy's anti-art school about a year ago and discovered Untitled through Dr. Sketchy's. Okay. Um, and, and Dr. Sketchy's, for anybody who doesn't know, it, is? It's a monthly cabaret life drawing class uh, where you have a model that poses for three hours and we have great music. It's in a bar. Uh, we have great, great drawing contests and prizes from local sponsors and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's like the anti-art school mentality of having to sit and be very structured and think in a very methodical, you know, straightforward way. Yeah, I totally Let's you think outside the box. I have the pleasure of uh, talking to Pablo Scruggs, and even though he's dressed like a spy, he's really an artist. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Pablo, we've had a chance to walk around a little while everybody's loading in, and this looks really exciting. Thank you, thank you. We try to make it as exciting as possible. Wait till you see the event itself, then it'll really be exciting. And the thing that really amazes me the most is there's all kinds of art here. Every kind you can imagine. It is an uncensored, unjuried. We try to do it in unconventional spaces. It's, we try to be the most unconventional, untitled artist group that you can be. I mean, it just Make seems like a wonderful organization. <laughs> it is. It's it a is. wonderful disorganization. <laughs> Well, no, because, I mean, you really allow anybody. Oh, absolutely. I suggest for anyone who has any interest in showing, check out the website, untitlednashville.org, and check it out and register for the next show. See you Friday with, with bells on. That's his art, him with bells. Yeah, <laughs> nothing else. Thanks, Papa. <laughs> wow, I can't get over all of this organization. It's, it's awesome. What's going on? Okay, well, first of all, introduce yourself to all the fire pitters. I am Tina Ayoka. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Oh, really. yes, she is. Okay, so Tina, what's going on here? We are dropping off artwork, and I am collecting lots of money. 
<laughs> okay, so you're collecting money. This is the entries for all of the artwork that's going to be uh, shown on Friday yes. evening. Yes. Okay, so you're a volunteer here, aren't you? I am. I volunteer all my time, and for the last year and a half, I've been on the board mm -hmm. and very active. And I've always played a good role, like uh, hospitality queen. Okay. Entertainer extraordinaire. Oh, I like that. I was a policewoman. Really? A naughty. A naughty policewoman? <laughs> All right. And tell me your experience. What do you think about Untitled? It is an awesome organization for, um, especially for up and coming artists that haven't shown their work and want to know how to do it. Yeah. How, to, how it all works. Okay. This is the place to be. Okay, so someone out there watching right now wants to become a member of Untitled. What do you suggest? Go to the website. All right, well, that's just really simple, folks. It's all there. And if you're really smart, you'll come to the shows. It's a big party. This Fire Pit Friday episode was made possible by Spring Sprang Studio. Spring Sprang Studio is a highly experienced, award-winning creative studio based in Franklin, Tennessee. From traditional design to cutting-edge creative, Spring Sprang consistently delivers dynamic solutions to their clients. Hi everybody, it's Cece and Cynthia. And we're here as promised in the beautiful icon located in the Galts. We're going to cover the Untitled Group art show, which is barely legal. Barely legal. And this is the happening place right now in mm -hmm. Nashville, the Gulch area. Mm -hmm. So we're really excited and we want you to join us. Yes. So are you ready for this? Wonderful artists. Let's go. Let's go check them out. I think over 124 or something. I know. Like, or something and like that. And there's some phenomenal art there. Oh my gosh, I really love this chair. I saw wine too. Mm -hmm. I love this chair. We're in the boardroom. <laughs> yeah. This is so well, weird. Well, yeah, we're in the boardroom of the Icon. This building is brand spanking new and it's really, really unbelievable. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. amazing piece of artwork at Untitled, barely legal, and we're with the artist herself, Audrey. It is, it is amazing because these flowers are not real. No, they're not. They're mostly made out of clay. How long did this take you? Um, most of the flower projects I do take about two to three weeks of working, you know, like nine to five, a good eight hours a day. It's a long process because I I actually make press molds to do the textures for all the leaves. So I have to make a positive and then cast a mold of that. And then wow. I do everything in stages. So I make all the leaves in a couple days, then I go on and get those in the kiln and start sculpting the other parts. Do you have to fire these? I mean, do they go in a kiln? Yes, uh, most of them do. The stems do not. Those are made out of a type of sculptor's epoxy with an aluminum armature underneath. But the leaves, the main flower part and the top, all of that goes in a kiln. And it's taken up to cone six, which is a mid-fire clay temperature. And then there are some underglazes on it, and then I do acrylic washes on top, so that's where the color comes from. But unlike traditional ceramics, this doesn't have a final like glaze firing on top. Wow, well this was very beautiful. I'm so glad we stopped by and said hello yeah. to you, Audrey. Say hi to everybody out there. Hi. And how long have you been with the Untitled? Um, this is my first show. I went to a meeting like three weeks ago, and I had never heard of it as of a month ago. So all right, well I you found a home. New. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Very good. That's and awesome. can anybody find? Where can they find you as an artist? Um, I have a website, which is www.audreyaudreydeal.com. Awesome. And I teach locally, mostly at the Surratt Art Studios at Vanderbilt. So Great. I have classes there. David Goodman. He seems to be quite talented. What do you think? Did you know there's a man right next door to you who's copying and mimicking everything you do? Cynthia, what are you doing? I'm interviewing David Goodman. 
Goodman. Oh, David, no way. David's right there. You're David Goodman. Thank you. Thank you. David, you're a really good sport. I'm teasing you a little, but this is like unbelievable. It's really fantastic. Are you having a good time? Oh, absolutely. Tell us about your posable man, because I'm thinking I need one of these for a date. Yeah, why not? I know. I can why make not? him move any way I want to. Ted he can't talk back. It's perfect. Perfect. Obviously, you're a man who's been trained well, Dave. I'm uh, you know, I'm better. Yeah. <laughs> I'm married. <laughs> okay, that, that's the answer right there. We're standing next to a sacred heart. I'm feeling the heat from this heart. And there's a flame coming out of the top of the heart. Are you hot? Am I hot? Yeah. Your hot. artwork is. <laughs> wow. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Thank you. It's kind of a labor of love, if you will. That's, that's hilarious. A no, I mean. <gasps> oh, all right. Can, can you pick this up, Jim? Wow. also in uh, Chicago and uh, there are such vibrant music city places to go to and also Nashville and a lot of the places that I went to were jazz and blues uh, inspired so from that I got a lot of the music ideas such uh, John Lee Hooker, uh, Howlin' Wolf, pieces like that and this is the pieces that I came up with. Uh, I did a series about four years ago in college in Memphis and it's, I've kept going ever since. And how long have you been with the Untitled Group? I've been with them about four years. Awesome. So you found your family, your home here. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a very good place to stay, a very good place to congregate and meet new people, and uh, just experience the life in Nashville, and it's, it's very you, exciting. If you could tell somebody right now watching just one thing about why should they join Untitled, the Untitled Group, what would it be? Well, Untitled is is a part of Nashville. It's it's a great place to meet new people, experience new things, and just and just be a part of the art vibe. And if you're in Nashville, 
art is art is a part of it. So either music or visual, it's a place to be. Thank you so much. You're welcome. We're here with Olga Alexeva. Oh, hi. hi. How are you doing? We're doing great. This is your work here? Uh, yes, it is. It's absolutely beautiful. Olga, how long have you been involved in Untitled? Um, for about five years since I was painting. So you're like a veteran here then? Uh, yeah, I can say so. <laughs> I hear, I hear a tinge of an accent, Missy. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Moscow. It's a wonderful turnout. It really yes. is. I hope every piece would be sold. That would be awesome. That's the wonderful turnout. Do you have a website, Olga? Uh, yes, ma'am. I do. It's paintingsbyolga.com. Cool. So, oh, no, good luck. We really thank love you your so heart. much. Cynthia, you know what I was thinking as we were just interviewing right now? Yeah. I'm thinking with her hot red hair. No, she's a. I'm a blonde. You're a brunette. All right, we all have to do Charlie's Angels. Are you ready? Ooh, with Olga. Ooh. <laughs> we've been looking for him. Yes, we've been James, looking for you. Where have you been all night? Did you just Jackie? walk in? Yeah. All right, that's why we've been checking you out, man. You're checking, checking me out. James, I'm gonna stop blushing. Don't stop checking James? me out. Where's your art, James? My art, I just it's down that way. Oh, so we're gonna I, head yeah. toward it. Say it again. Curves or no curves? Curves, definitely. Tell me why. Because it looks so good on a woman. Definitely. We love James. Alright? Definitely. Alright, get a close up of those curves, baby. Come on. Thank you, James. Thanks, James. No problem. Hi everybody, we're standing here with Wendy Whittemore in front of her piece, which everybody knows is the Icon. That's the building yeah. we're in right now. And I would like to ask Wendy a couple questions, I'm sure you would too. How the heck do you get up on a building and get that? Um, you marry the guy that built it. <laughs> okay. How about that? That's so good. Yeah, yeah. Um, early on in the construction of the building, I was sent down by the general contractor to do some... Um, panorama views and we had to figure out how to get them on the lift and everything and I met the superintendent and one thing led to another so suffice to say I had a lot of access throughout construction so yeah this was on the roof and it was kind of just a grab shot I did and like the more I looked at it it, it you know when you show it to someone at the icon they know exactly what it is oh, yeah. and what it represents so but you are very familiar with being in the sky yes Yes. Why is that? <laughs> well, we do aerial photography. That's our main business. So, Aerial Innovations of Tennessee. Cynthia, she's a girl on fire. She is. Yeah. Wendy is a girl fire. on fire. For sure. Now, do you go up yourself and take the pictures? Yes. We're the photographers and we hire pilots. And, yeah, we shoot all over Tennessee and Kentucky. And how long have you been with Untitled Group? Um, I got started with Untitled probably about four or five years ago. Yeah, and I, you know, I show occasionally. It kind of depends on if I have work. And, and what yeah. a perfect place to be here at the yeah, Icon. This is like a really the cool icon. venue for it because this yeah. building is art itself. So It is. It's a very artistic building and we love it. So, yeah. Thank you so you guys much. Are here? No problem. It's so good to see you. And thanks. Everybody at Fire Pit Friday. We love you guys. Thanks. <laughs> All right, we're here with Glenn Weiss and he is. What? Glenn Weiss. Weiss. Okay. <laughs> That's what he thinks. Oh, now we're just in trouble. I spelled okay, your name uh, wrong. You yeah, pronounced okay, my name wrong. He spelled my name wrong, so we mispronounced his. I'm All right, sorry. so now we're even. We're even. Okay, okay right. now, Glenn. Yes. Did you know this This was a barely legal? I thought it was barely naked. Uh, really? I was getting ready to take my clothes off. Woo! Glenn, hey, he we all know no shame, and he should have That's some. That's all I don't have. Whoa. <laughs> Woo! All right, Glenn, what's your next project? What are you working on? Thong Girl 4. Thong Girl 4. The Body Electric, it's called. Uh, you know what? Is this one like for the four-figured woman? Uh, yeah, I guess you could say oh, that. Oh, he lies. Um, no, this is a, a, my fourth feature film, and it's based on my comic book character, Thong Girl, whom I created. Uh, right. And so this is our fourth movie. Awesome. Yeah. And the thong still lives. Thong lives on. If you do wrong, you'll answer to the thong. Too. Yeah. This is great. Thanks, Glenn. Thank Thanks. you. Have a great night. You too. Do you yes. like it? You I like it when like I it. take the microphone and shove it in your face like that? I kind of do. I do. Yes. It makes me feel so cozy. Here. There's Sorry. a special talent that this artist <laughs> has. We were going over it during installation. 
talk to me. And so what I would do is I would say, okay, love, what about this painting? And so she would do the sound bite to go with the painting. So we've got to have her do it. She's phenomenal. Lovely, lovely. No! Yes, yes, it's fabulous. Yeah. Here's your chance. Which painting? Point to a painting. Uh, how about this one? Ah! Uh, lovely. That's what I see when I see that. Walk around. Uh, what about that one there? What would you say? Ooh la la. Okay, Marilyn, do that one more time. Do that one more time for the camera. Yeah. And we were talking with Tina, Tina Extraordinaire. We got her a little earlier, so now we got all of her right now. She is looking lovely. All right, so who are you wearing? Yvonne Picon. Yeah, lovely. Yes, I am. And are those um, borrowed jewels, or how this do they do? my grandmother's. Oh, oh that's the best. Yeah. I'm wearing Gap. Nice, <laughs> nice little cord going on. The tiny cords. That's so right, it's in style. I don't know, baby, it's I don't know. Awesome. <laughs> oh, you guys are Wow, what a night that was at the Untitled Barely Legal Show. My feet are killing me. Wow, my feet are killing me too. We walked and walked from one end of that art show to the next. We did, and it was packed. <gasps> A hundred, over 124 artists. And, and how many people would you say know, was there Each of them tonight? must have had about 20 guests. I've bumped more rear ends than I care to count. Well, if you're going to do it, might as well do it at a barely legal show. Yeah, not barely naked. No. Or if you're going to do it, do it barely naked. <laughs> what do you say we go up to the ninth floor in this beautiful building? And get a drink. And get a drink. So we're going to say good night to everybody from the Icon Building in the Gulch in Nashville. Yes. Good night, everybody, and make sure to check out the Untitled Group. It's an awesome, awesome show. <laughs> I know, it's an awesome, awesome one. We're tired. Art show. <laughs> it's an awesome group. Uh, art group. It's a group. It's a show. It's a group. It's everything. Good night, everybody. Bye.